Relight now includes support for ICE. ICE is the dynamic simulation system used by Softimage. So to show you that, we're going to use a uh, simple fire simulation in uh, Softimage. This is the ICE tree, which is used to create that simulation. You can see it controls the, uh, the particles which are emitted by the dyna dynamic system, the color of particles, uh, the life span of particles. And this node is particularly useful for us, the cache on file node. What we can do, that, do with that is to tell ICE to automatically uh, write each frame of the simulation to an ICE cache. And in Relight, which we're showing you here, we have a node which can read that ICE cache from disk. So here we're playing the simulation from Softimage, uh, which appears in Relight as a particle system. And what we can do is use a volume shader to render that particle system. So here you can see uh, individual frames of that simulation, that ICE simulation. Now in the volume shader, we can, for example, uh, map particle attributes which were, which were created by ICE to the incandescent color of the particle system. That's what we did here because ICE created a color attribute for each particle. We can also uh, modify the radius of each particle, make them bigger or smaller. We can turn up or turn down the opacity of in individual particles. Here we're turning it down, and we'll put it back to 1. What else can we do? We can turn on motion blur by using the velocity attribute which is stored for each particle. We can also turn motion blur up and down. Here we're exaggerating it by multiplying the velocity of each particle. Okay, so now we're going to go back into Softimage and uh, make some changes. Here, for example, we're going to add a, uh, a force, a vertical force field, which is going to modify the simulation. And an interesting thing about the ICE cache is that as the simulation runs in Softimage, the cache on disk is updated automatically. So if we re-render the simulation in Relight, uh, the changes are, are taken into account automatically. We don't need to do anything. So now back in Softimage, we're going to add some, some turbulence to our simulation. We'll start the simulation playing again. You can see the effects of that turbulence. Go back into Relight play the simulation and you'll see the changes have been uh, taken into account automatically. You've got frames from the new simulation as we render. Another thing we can change in the ice tree is the particle colors. You can see here that we're using the, um, the age of each particle to determine its, its, its color using a ramp which goes from red to green to blue, etc. So here we just changed the colors of that ramp. We're playing the simulation again, which updates the ice cache on disk. Go back into Relight, Render, and you can see we've got the new colors. Now, the color ramp is something we can also do directly in Relight if we prefer. So here what we're going to do is, is map the age directly to the color of, of each particle and we're going to use a, a gradient ramp to determine what color is used as a function of the age of each particle. So in Relight, we're creating a ramp similarly to what we did in Softimage. We're creating a ramp which goes from red to, to yellow to blue to green. We're re-rendering, and you can see it's using our ramp now instead of, uh, instead of the ice color ramp.